So now let's look at the auto lip sync feature that Toonboom Harmony provides us to work with. So for that, I'm going to import my audio, which is uh, what I'm going to take as a reference. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to import, and I'm going to go to sound. So this is my audio file, it's in a WAV format, I'm just going to open that out and it'll be here on my layer as you can see. So I'm going to go and double click on this music icon right over here and then I'm going to select the audio range. So I'm going to select the audio and crop it out uh, till this section right here. So I'm just going to crop it out till this section and then from this end as well, I'm going to crop it out from that section and I'm going to press apply and next and close it up. So you got this audio right here. And in order for you to hear and scrub through the audio, these two icons must be turned on. So this one and this one. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear the audio even if you play it. So if I play it now, I'll be able to hear my audio. Hello there. Hope you're doing fine today. So that's my audio which I want to lip sync to. So now in order uh, for me to get to the lip sync tool, I need to select the layer right over here. And then I need to click this plus icon right over here. And then I need to go to layer properties. So th there is layer properties, simply click on that. And as I'm selecting my uh, audio layer, you can see the lip sync feature right over here. If I were to click over here though, you won't be seeing that option. You get other layer properties, but here you get the lip sync feature. But over here, I do need some drawing so that the lip sync can actually take place. So here you can see that there's eight shapes right here as a reference. And what I usually like to do is draw them in order so it's easier for me to work with. So first of all, it's the X shape, then it's the G shape, F, E, D, C, B, and A. So this is the shapes that Toon Boom recommends us to use and is required for auto lip sync. So let, let us just draw that out. So I'm going to take my brush tool right over here. I'm going to go to the drawing layer and then go to the tool properties. Let me just go around here, select a simple shape and then use that reference and draw out the particular shape. So I'm going to go around here onto layer properties. So first one is uh, a simple closed mouth shape. So just like this, this is a simple closed mouth shape. I'm going to go around here and then enable the onion skinning so that I can take that as a reference. So that's the First shape right over here. So let, let us go over here onto the um, audio layer and let's see the other one. And that's the G shape right over here. So it's a bit open right over here, just like this, a bit open, just like that. And this is the other shape. So let's go to the other shape over here. That's going to be the uh, F shape. That's the ooh, like a round type of shape right there. So I'm just going to go around here. Gonna make something like a round shape right here and then just drag it out. So that is going to be the round shape, just like that. I'm going to go around to other shape right here. The other one is the E shape. So it is going to be something like this and this, something a wide open type of a mouth, just like that. Then I'm gonna go over here and this is going to be the D shape. It's kind of like a very wide right over here. And there you go. So kind of like a wide type of a shape right over here. And then depending on the character, you should have your own mouth shape design. So I'm just going to go for the simple ones. Then the C one, which is not very, very wide open, just a bit wide open, just like that. And then the um, then the S shape right over here, as you can see. So I'm just going to, not, not the S shape. So the B shape right over here, as you can see. So it is going to be a bit of closed type of shape, just like that. So not like that, but a closed type of a shape. And then, Finally, the A shape, so that's uh, when the mouth is totally closed out. So just like that, a closed out mouth shape, just like that, very, very closed out altogether. So there you go, I got my mouth shape, as you can see, right over there, just like that. So I have all of the mouth shapes over here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assign these to uh, these shapes now. So what I have to do is, first of all, I have to click on detect. So what it will do is it will detect the audio. So I'm going to click on detect. And once I click on detect and press play, you'll be able to see this move as the audio plays. Hello there. Hope you're doing fine today. So because that is what we worked around with. So let me just go over here. And what we have to do now is map. So click on map. And since we drew this in order, so this is why I uh, first do this one and all the way through A because that is the order which we get over here. So I'm going to go over here. So this is the frame one, two. So according to the frame number right here, I'm going to just change this out accordingly and all of them will be mapped. 
So once I click OK, they have been mapped and you can see that they have been stretched, ac stretched across the timeline just like that. If I were to press map again, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4 is not there anymore. So this is something that uh, you need to get used to right here. So they disappear once you click on map. So you have to enter again. So anyways, I have this. And now if I were to turn off my um, onion skinning right here, press play, the mouse shape will animate according to uh, the sounds of the audio. Hello there. Hope you're doing fine today. So you can see that that is how the mouse shape animates, just like that. And you didn't have to add any keyframe manually. Of course, you can go in there and change the key right there and change that out just like that as well manually. So you can make your adjustment later, but um, automatically most of the things will be done for you just like this. So now I'm going to add some eyes and then um, like animate it out just like uh, it's the character animation just like that. So there's the eyes over here. Let me just copy, not in the drawing. I need to create a new layer for this one. So new drawing over here. So drawing uh, one, there you go. So that is going to be the face drawing. I'm just going to go around here, drag out a shape just like this, and then drag out another shape over here just like this. Uh, drag it out around into the side and drag it around over here just like this. And there you go, that's the shape. So I'm just going to get that in over here and make it a child. I'm gonna go over here, press F5 to increase the frame and I can animate this out. So let's do a bit of an animation of a twirling animation over here, just like this onto this side. Let's rotate this around and let's see how the final uh, animation actually looks like. Hello there. Hope you're doing fine today. So all of this without me having to uh, do everything manually. So you can try this. Hello out. there. Hope you're doing fine today. So that is how you can use the automatic lip sync feature inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.